What's up nerds back with another video in this video I am talking about the previous uh, Video which is now unlisted that I uploaded today, which was basically a compilation of a bunch of different videos Ranting into the ether about independent thinking about the debates about what happened after the debates with the affidavit and all the evidence and just people in general how they tend to think their opinions of themselves my opinions of myself etc just a, an hour of just rambling and i took all of that transcribed it threw it into chat gpt because i've got a chat gpt thread where i talk with chat about all the different aspects of my life different foundations moral philosophies all sorts of shit and talk with chat about you know like am i on the right path what does it think you know uh, in general compared to you know current people religion past people thinkers all sorts of shit and so i just uh uploaded the raw earlier uh and now it's unlisted it's in the description below just if you wanted to see the kind of like a passion the emotion behind the conversations but essentially it broke down to independent thinkers as the modern media as the mainstream media puts it because we had the trump and kamala debates happen and then mainstream media and all these people online and twitter and everybody is talking about how important independents are in the election and kamala is talking about winning winning independence over and all, and all this stuff and so i was just like what, what what are these independents who are these magical independents like what are these where are they like what you know and so that was kind of what the rant was about, and so ChatGPT broke it down to a bunch of different things, and I figured we'd take a look at it. So basically, broke down into six main points through all of the various videos I was talking about. So we've got true independent thinkers versus fake independents. Essentially, fake independent supporters are people that, you know, the, the mainstream media perception of independence quote unquote i liked what chat gpt brought it together as it said that media narratives often manipulate or oversimplify the concept of independent thinking turning it into a moral dichotomy where being independent equates to being good and supporting someone like trump equates to being bad so you know independent thinkers how much critical thinking it takes you know, how much time, not just critical thinking on the surface, how much actual time spent in. Um, I talk about the effect of social media and dumbing people down to where they think that they are critically thinking, but they're just being manipulated by uh, the mainstream media, you know, and they're being told like, oh, yeah, you guys are critically thinking. You guys are adults. You guys are smart. Yeah. But in reality, it's just the exact opposite, and they're just playing to that, you know, emotion inside people, which, hey, I used to play to as well. It's just fascinating to see it, you know, from the sidelines on real life because the Internet has sped things up to the point where, I mean, we're watching people like we're watching 12 to 14 year olds be the driving force on Reddit. We're seeing Zoomers and college kids uh young college and all you know, these uh super liberal places pushing everything when it's like you know these are what between 18 to 22 year old chicks you know that are storming these play places free palestine and all the people that want some are these guys that go to college thinking it's going to be an absolute chick fest but it's all liberals everywhere and it's like okay well you either gotta play the game or find chicks that, you know on the other side you know and uh I liked another point that it brought up uh, up here, which is uh, moral integrity and standing for something. Uh, there's a strong sentiment in my rants that standing for one beliefs, even when unpopular, is crucial. You criticize or I criticize those who adopt a fence-sitting approach, arguing that it's important to have convictions and not just to play to societal expectations of neutrality 
And then it gives me some key ideas for defining an independent thinker, critical enga- engagement, resilience against popular opinion, self-awareness and growth, re- resistance to manipulation. Um, and then I ask it after that to give me some examples of independent thinkers, quote unquote, that I would align with in the last century. Gave me George Orwell, Ayn Rand, Noam Chomsky, Michael Foucault, Albert Camus, and uh, then does a nice little summary of the differences between uh, my thoughts and them. And then because, again, this is all in ChatGPT, I've had a whole uh, conversation going back months uh, with chat about different things related to all of this personal growth my life and everything so I asked it to then you know just to check myself it's like okay uh, you know I'm talking with chat all this time I'm working on myself thinking about all this we've gone through all this stuff in the past you know how does this line up does this line up with like am I talking bullshit or am I kind of staying on board with what I want to do and uh then after that, uh, talk about prof- areas of potential inconsistency, which is, I mean, the obviously the, the main things, abstract versus practical, idealism versus real world cynicism, spiritual, spirituality versus empiricism. I mean, just uh, a whole lot of stuff I'm working on over here. And basically... I just am making this video to sum it up like I posted this hour long rant video all this shit like it's like what what's the point of all this right and the point of all that is because I am constantly thinking of ever improving of working either on myself or some way every day that I can don't get me wrong I always try and cut yourself some slack but when I am working, I am fucking working. And sometimes, you know, part of the process is just ranting to get down ideas, ranting to get stuff written down. But the, you know, back end, this is the back end of stuff like that. And more explanations of everything is to come. I just wanted to just do a quick, like, little, you know, go through. It's like, this is the kind of stuff that I think about and you know, work on. Oh, and this was a pretty sick picture that I had it uh, generate last time I was in this uh, conversation. Anyway, that's it. Smoke grass, eat ass, be excellent to each other, and as always, I will see you in the next video.